my dear students, in today's EVS class, let's take up lesson 16, Water is Precious. So open your book to page 107 and let's do this chapter. We all know that rain is the main source of water on earth. How does rain occur? Rain occurs because of water cycle. The water cycle helps to maintain the amount of water on earth. Let's take a look at what is water cycle. Water cycle is the circulation of water between the water bodies present on the earth and the atmosphere. Let us understand the cycle with the help of a diagram. The sun heats the water in water bodies. The water from these water bodies changes into water vapour and rises in the sky with warm air. This process is called evaporation. Plants also add water to the atmosphere by the process of transpiration. When the air becomes cold, the water vapour changes into drops of water. This process is called condensation. These drops of water stick together and form clouds. When the clouds become heavy, they burst and fall down as rain. Thus, precipitation takes place. The rainwater again fills all the water bodies and this cycle continues in nature. Sometimes water shortage takes place. This usually happens during summer. Let's take a look at some of the reasons for water shortage. Overpopulation that results in more demand of water. Less rainfall due to deforestation. Indiscriminate drilling of bore wells that results in lowering the level of underground water. Now let's take a look at water pollution. What is water pollution? Water pollution is dirtying of water bodies. Man is greatly responsible for this. People wash clothes, bathe and urinate in the water bodies. People bathe their cows and buffaloes in them. People throw carcasses. Carcasses means dead bodies of animals and humans in them. Factory waste are discharged into the water bodies. And what will happen if we drink dirty water? Dirty water causes jaundice and cholera. Aquatic animals are also affected by this dirty water. And how can we reduce water pollution? We can stop washing clothes or bathing or urinating in the water bodies. People should stop bathing their cows and buffaloes in them. People should stop throwing carcasses of animals and humans in them. Factory wastes need to be treated before being discharged into the water bodies. So it is very important to reduce water pollution in order to remain healthy. So let's see what we can do to manage water at a personal level. We should not let water from a bucket overflow under a running tap. We should get leaking taps repaired. We should close the tap while brushing our teeth. We should avoid taking a shower and we should use a bucket 
or water and mug to bathe instead. In this way, we can ensure that we have enough water for our need. Our next topic is recycling and using water. Water recycling is reusing water for another purpose, often having first used it already for something. For example, the water used to wash fruits and vegetables can be used to water the plants. Next, water treatment plants can be used to filter and clean water from sewage so that it can be reused. Next, rain water harvesting involves collecting rain water on the roof of houses and storing it in underground tanks for future use. Now let us see how we can store water. Water can be stored in containers made out of plastic or metal or even mud. For example, water can be stored in a bucket, plastic bucket. Water can also be stored in a bottle. Water can be stored, water can be stored in this steel container. Always remember to handle drinking water hygienically. Always keep the drinking water covered. Do not dip dirty glasses or fingers into vessels containing water for drinking. Store drinking water in clean containers. It is not advisable to store drinking water for a long period. You can use this water to water the plants and then fill fresh water every day. Remember to use water wisely. Every drop of water counts. Water is precious. With that, we come to the end of this lesson. Worksheets related to this topic will be soon uploaded on the school website. Parents, please help your children to go through them. Thank you and have a good day.